Hey guys, Bishop Sam here, and we're back with the fifth tutorial episode in our series. And sorry for not being able to make a video for the past month, but it's been such a hassle with doing homework, uh, studying, and you know I had my own oh, exams and stuff now. And also, um, my laptop broke, so I can't make any more special effects. Like with After Effects, I lost that. I lost my Cinema 4D, my Photoshop, everything, every um, special effect program I had. And now I'm on my dad's laptop, and I'll be using Windows Movie Maker from now on. And this week's question actually resembles um, my situation that I'm in. So let's start reading the question. So this week we got a question from Bob, and he asks, How do you make a gunshot on Windows Movie Maker? Good question. I'll be answering that now. Cheesy intro time! Okay guys, so to start this effect, well, you're going to have to grab your footage, and let me tell you, this is the most simple, easiest, like, the best effect you'll ever learn, because it'll be the first one, and for me, it was my first effect, and that's what got me into wanting to do all this after effect schmiz and stuff. So, did I just say sh schmiz? Okay, whatever. So, um, you grab your footage, which I named Untitled, and drag it into your, what do you call it, your timeline. Okay, so now that you have your timeline, here, let me just show you what it looks like. Okay, so basically, now you know what it looks like, and what you're going to do is, we're going to have to skip ahead to the point where you're about to shoot. So that, for me, would be, use the frame-by-frame frame editor, and that would be right here. And now we're going to go to Tools and Take Picture from Preview. Now, um, you're going to go and save it. I do it to my desktop. And let's name it Shot. Save. Okay. Now you're going to have to go and download a program called Paint.net. And um, it's free right now. And it'll be in the, the link will be in the description below. So you let's go ahead and open that. It'll take a bit. Okay. Um, now you're gonna want to drag. You you also want to get a muzzle flash. Okay. So just go to Google Image Search and type in muzzle flash. And the first option that comes is the best. This other this is stuff's crap. Okay. So um, you're gonna have to. You're gonna want to drag your shot photo that you just made and drag it into the place and it'll in the program and it'll call. You'll give get three options. The first one is open. Second one's add layer, and third one's cancel. Click open so that it goes into a new tab. Now you're gonna want to go back to your desktop and drag the muzzle flash here, and click open. Um, so now you should have two tabs at the top here: one the muzzle flash and one the picture. So go to the muzzle flash and go to the magic wand tool, and select the inside of that muzzle flash. Press Control X since you're on a Windows, and go to the um, the thing here, the picture, and press Control B. So now you have your muzzle flash in here, and without the black background. Now you can take it and move it like this. I don't think they have a rotate tool in this program, so kind of sucks, but it's fine. And uh, don't make it too big, because then it'll become pixely like that. And just keep it a reasonable size. So and that looks pretty good right now. Maybe a bit bigger. Okay, but that's that's fine. So now you're gonna go to File, Save As, and drop it onto your desktop. Oh wait, I already have shot. Let's name it Shoot. <laughs> Pretty simple. Okay, now make it high quality, the highest quality. Press OK. And now, if you go to your desktop, you will see that there is now the new shoot the shoot image that you just made. Drag that into your Windows Movie Maker file or um, composition, and you see how you're you should still be on top of that frame that uh, we got the picture of. If you're not, go there now. So um, stay on this and press split. Now go back one frame by pressing this button right here and press split again. Now zoom and click on it and press delete and drag your shoot uh, picture into there. Now zoom out a bit and make it as small as possible, which should be one frame. So, 
that's one frame okay and now zoom out and you can watch your video and it looks like this yeah but now it sucks because there's that one random um, stop in the sound in the audio so to fix that just go on a go on, get a muzzle sound like a gunshot and I can just find it right here oh look I have one already okay so now you just place it on top of your shot and it looks like this okay guys so now you guys just learned how to make a cool little gunshot off the easiest program ever and if you guys don't know where to get gunshots from you can just go online and search up soundbible.com and this is the best sound pro like website it gets you all the cool sound effects like gunshots stuff like that yeah let's just find gunshots or search it up for the search bar go gun shots and you can listen and you can download it by clicking on it and going on to it so okay so that's it for now guys um and let's just jump back into normal human form so Okay, so that's it for this week. And from now on, or most of the time, I'm gonna be giving out, like, um, cool videos and short film suggestions that you can find on YouTube at the end of most or all of my episodes. So, this week's suggestion is called Gone, a short action film. It's made by Edgepoint Productions, and it's awesome. The, uh, the visual effects and everything, they're all so cool, and the cinematography is amazing. Just makes it look so real. And the link to it's in the description below. And that's it for this week. So if you guys have any comments or questions, just ask me in the comment section below. Or visit my website at www.bijixfilms.webstars.com. And be sure to check, out, and check me out on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash And so that's it. Thanks for watching.